today is the big day. Let's go, I'm it's ready. It's a big day. Probably the most eventful day in Terry's life. Well, except for when the day you married me, right? <laughs> day we've been waiting for for a long time. I think we applied like uh, in November of 20, 2020 we applied. It's been uh, like 18 months to get this process to this day. The backstory is when we moved to the Philippines we kept coming back and forth to Guam and after about the third or fourth trip, uh, immigration questioned the length of our stay in the Philippines. And Terry, being a permanent green card holder, technically was uh, sort of in violation of her travel authorization, I guess you'd say. She stayed out of the country too long without properly filing the correct paperwork. Okay, what's it cut in front of me? Oh, here we go. So, her, uh, subsequently, her passport got flagged, her, her green card got flagged, <clears throat> and it basically reset the clock on her residency, and uh, she had to start all over again. So here we are, five years later. We are here outside the Superior Court building of Guam. She's out there talking to her cousin. Today is the day that uh, she gets sworn in, or the day that she renounces her Philippine citizenship. It's been a long time coming, about 37 years. Actually, we, we could have done this years ago. But one of the big reasons she didn't get it done was, there was two reasons. One, her, her green card that she obtained in 1986 was a permanent green card. It never expired. So that was kind of nice. The second reason is we were employed all those years and never could just break away from self-employment to find a time to get it all done. And uh, it never really seemed like an urgent thing until we actually moved to the Philippines. And then it became cumbersome because we couldn't stay outside uh, the United States for more than six months legally without her filing uh, additional paperwork uh, for travel authorization. Uh, and then one time we did stay out of the country for seven months, uh, she got flagged and kind of reset her whole residency thing. So she had to go back uh, and start over with a new five-year residency. So that's one of the reasons we're in Guam for five years. <laughs> That's evolved into a whole other story, but uh, today's the big day. She got her biometrics done a year ago. She got her interview finally done last month, and today is the big swearing. And it looks like there's some people congregating. Uh, she's not going to be the only one. There'll be a group of people, I'm sure, but uh, today is a good day to become a U.S. citizen. Every day is a good day to become a U.S. citizen. Once everyone was inside the courtroom, as you see here, instructions were issued, including the notice to silence all cell phones and that there would be absolutely no recording of the actual ceremony due to this being an official court function. All in all, there were 30 citizenship candidates, two Chinese, three Korean, 
and the rest were all Filipino. <laughs> no surprises there. After all, this is Guam. I've never had any reason to attend one of these ceremonies, and I can honestly say, to witness all these very determined future model citizens achieve their goal was a very rewarding and humbling experience. From the singing of the national anthem right down to the reciting of the Pledge of Allegiance, it was hard not to get a little choked up with good old American pride. your first margarita as American citizen. How does it taste? Well, good, but I could use a little bit more liquor. More tequila. More tequila, <laughs> yes. 